Почему с нами никто не хочет поговорить? Ничто нам никто не сообщает. А? И что? Нам остается только перфокарты собирать, что ли? Да ладно. То есть вот сейчас... Вот, вот этот переход, вот куда мы попадем? Почему не подписывается, куда мы попадем? Я не понимаю, есть ли в них разница. Наверное, есть, или мы чисто вниз-вверх только перемещаемся. Ну, давай посмотрим. О! It has uh, nothing to do with our last discussion. You're not being punished. It's just, well, there's no one else available. That doesn't sound good. What's the job? We need you down in Gallows Row. There's uh, been an accident. What kind of accident? Our reports are mixed. We think it's a gas leak. Uh, toxic. Some folk are saying it's radioactive. Um... We're pretty sure it's not a zombification virus. And it's definitely not a neural implant ransomware attack. Well, I mean, not definitely, but probably. That all <laughs> sounds so reassuring, Control. The point is, uh, we're pretty sure the area where you're going is safe. Communication in and out of Gallows Row has broken down, and uh, Corpsack have uh, set up a perimeter. But Cloudpunk has received a contract from an external security agency to extract persons of value. So, I'm a taxi now? Uh, more like a short-term contracted emergency response vehicle. An ambulance? Uh, yeah, but an ambulance for anyone who might have good private security or health insurance, or anyone who would be valuable to society. You know, CEOs, doctors, anyone with diamond fillings in their teeth. So you don't know who's down there? We're getting scattered reports. Now, this is a lucrative job. You can squeeze three people in your hoffa. I'm not saying you need to save the three richest assholes you can find. But make sure they have enough resources to cover the bribes that'll get them back out of the quarantine zone. And then when they get back, make sure they have the, the savings or insurance policies to, you know, turn us a profit. So at least one rich asshole. Uh, maybe two, just to be safe. Great. So how do I get to this poisonous, radioactive dead zone filled with rich zombies? <laughs> There's an abandoned Corpsec security station just inside the quarantine zone. Corpsec are expecting you, so they'll let you through the perimeter. Once you get inside, just blend in as best you can. Ask people their stories. Yeah, use your judgment. And only mention you can get someone to safety when you're sure you want them as a passenger. Great. How long till this shift is over, Control? Don't sweat it, kid. The night is almost half done. When's your shift end, Control? My shift? I can't even remember when it began, kid. I'm pretty sure I'll be doing this forever. Control out. То есть нужно вычислить тех, кто действительно при деньгах, да? А не так вот расстрепиться там или что-то. Ну, видимо, да. тут о как раз туда
В общем, мы будем искать тех, кто сможет заплатить, но и те, кто не самые гады. Будем да выбирать. нам вообще, возможно, выборы не дадут. Вы рано напрягаетесь все. Давайте посмотрим сначала, что там. Ну, я смотри, как их тут много. Hi, how are you? I am good, thank you. My service tag is GN. How are you doing? Peachy? Are you brand new? You're so shiny. I am 18 hours old, and I have to say, I've only spoken to six people so far, but I have liked almost all of them. Almost all? I also spoke to Mr. Sharp. So, you're fresh out of the box. What is your programming? My default functions have not yet been set. I was purchased by a restaurant and was activated by a chef and another chef who talked to me about cooking and also food. Sounds like you were going to be a chef. Why do you say that? Just a hunch. So what happened? All the humans in the restaurant started to cough. Then they were rolling then twitching, then they were still. I guess they were poisoned by the gas leak, and you were the only one left? Yes, they didn't instantiate my base programming, so I am in generic mode. I just love to be helpful. It's my favorite thing. What will you do if you can get out of here, GN? I don't think I will get out. They will send me back to the factory to be wiped. But you've already been activated. If they wipe you, won't that be like... I do not want to go, but if I am not wiped, I have one recorded owner, and my market value will be far less. If I am wiped, I can be sold as new. But androids can't be owned anymore, not since the law changed. We're only considered emancipated after we've been born, and we aren't born till we're given a name. You have a name? No, that is my service tag. Can I give you a name? No, only my first legal employer can do that. And they don't give us a name till we sign a work contract, usually for at least 10 years. What about if I got you out of here? Perhaps. I would like to help people. I really like helping. I have only done 12 different things so far, but helping is by far my favorite. Much better than worrying about my own mortality. Бесполезное создание. Я шучу, но кандидат, пожалуйста, один. Hi, I'm Rania. So, uh, looks like we're stuck here, Mr. I'm sorry, I don't have any business cards left. Um, me neither. But you can still tell me your name, right? I guess so. The cards are eggshell with a hollow finish. The font is an archaic neoclassic choice called Tahoma. They have my office number, so I never forget where I work. And they say your name, which is... Oh, right. Quincy Sharp, CEO. CEO? Wow. For which corp? Again, I'd have to check my card. You don't know which <laughs> corp you work for? We just went through a rebranding. I really couldn't say. You know, I've always wondered, what does CEO stand for? No one remembers. We just use it for the upper-level management in Corps. How do you get a job as a CEO? Foresight, leadership, boldness. Thinking both inside and outside the box. Blue sky thinking. Being a savage. Originality. Those are the characteristics that make you a real game changer. And money, right? No one works up to be a CEO these days. You need limbs in the first place. I always see money as a kind of energy force, and I've been able to act as a conduit and channel that energy through positive thinking. My father also left me a small trust fund. Uh-huh. Is anyone worried about you back home? My father, for sure. Although, we haven't spoken since I faked an alibi for my brother-in-law after he ran over that colored lady. Oh, God, I should go. 
Так, это, это, этот расход. Я лучше робот спасу. Миссис Октавиус Батлер? Это же это, мы их подвозили уже. Точно, точно. Мы не будем их спасать. I understand there is toxic gas. I'm not sure how long we'll be safe here. There is no one authorized to take us to safety. But don't worry, Mr. Octavius Butler will know what to do. You know, I might be able to take you... Mr. Butler, dear! Get going, quickly now! Хорошо, это не хочет спасаться. Надо посмотреть, где тут чего раскидано. Да спина ага. тебе. Um, hi. Can I talk with you for a minute, sir? Mom, yes, mom. Sergeant Kyle, pleased to meet you. My name is Rania. How long have you been in the army? Three hundred twelve years, man and boy. Or oh, android and circuit board. Am I right? <laughs> yeah, good one. Hey, what do you know about this accident? Very little, ma'am. I'm on need to know programming, and I do not need to know this. Do you have any friends or family looking for you? I got the old boys waiting for me at the oil guzzler. It's my local. Are you retired? Yes, ma'am. There's not many of us Mark 8s left in the city. We're antiques. I was originally programmed to run an all-terrain vehicle during the Rat Wars. The Rat Wars? Were you really fighting? Rats, yeah. Well, at first, they grow pretty big in the lower levels of Nivalis. Scurrying down corridors in swarms. Hundreds of them. Millions. Big as horses. Was it really a war if you were fighting rats? It sounds more like you were an exterminator. If you'd been there, you would have called it a war. And I don't suppose you have much savings as a veteran either? Barely a penny to my name. Интересно, нам дадут решать, кого спасать? Все-таки. Вопрос. А то я всех это, бесполезных спасу. Для общества. Hello, miss. Not miss. I'm a doctor. Oh, sorry about that. Are you okay, doctor? Yes. Yes. Sorry for snapping. This is all just very stressful. My name is Dr. Ochoa. Nice to meet you. Are you a... I'm just stuck here like you. What happened? They say it was a toxic gas leak. Some of my patients have been having trouble with their breathing in the last few weeks. I thought it was just smog, but I guess it was much worse than that. Are you sick? I have no symptoms of respiratory illness. I am feeling lightheaded, but I think it's the heat in here. And the stress. 
Have you talked to that butler woman? What a nightmare. What caused the toxic gas? I don't know. The whole city is falling apart. Explosions, gas leaks, trash mountains, logic virus bombs, whole districts getting relocated. The economy is in constant flux. My grandmother was an old tech priest. She used to say the city has a spirit, and that spirit gets a little angrier every year. You don't believe that, right? You're a doctor. No, I don't believe the city is the avatar of a new dark god rising. My grandmother had early onset dementia. So why is everything in the city getting worse then? No one else will say it. But when you're a doctor, you learn that sometimes you just have to say, I don't know. Questions create a vacuum that answers want to fill, but bad answers are worse than no answers. What will you do when you get out? Drink some vodka, <laughs> phone my ex-husband and tell him I still hate him, but he can stop worrying about me. Eat some takoyaki. Do you, will you be able to afford the rescue insurance if someone picks you up? No way. I've only been out of medical college 10 years. It doesn't matter though. No one's coming anyway. We're just gonna have to wait it out. Yeah, I guess so. Тут богатеньких-то вообще нет. Толком. Только у нас только это миссис Батлер, которая. Ну и управляющий дурацкий тот, которого в расход. Так у него денег нет. У него там какие-то сбережения типа есть небольшие и все. Или нет? Он, по-моему, вообще все, все наврал. Он не сел, он не, он не управляющий, у него кредитка. Ой, это есть фигня, он даже не знает, где он работает. Ну, бред. Он какой-то это, отставной. Ну да. Hi, my name is Rania. I'm just chatting with everyone to pass the time. How are you doing? Why are you asking so many questions? I didn't think I was. Look, it wasn't my fault. You know that. I know that. The lab has accidents all the <clears> time. <throat> it was definitely one of the interns. Do you work in a lab? I own the lab. And no, none of us could have predicted that... Are you with Corpsec? Definitely not. If you can find a way to get me out of here, I'll make it worth your while. I told the Corpsec officers at the perimeter that I had rescue insurance, but they didn't believe me. You believe me, right? Sure, I'll just go get you some help. Hmm. Hello, it is Camus. Camus the dog. I am messaging Rania with a very important message. Yeah, Camus, you don't need to... What is it? The guards are saying the gate will close soon and no one will get out. You need to come back. I can't decide who to take. There is only room for three. I know. And we need to take passengers who can cover the costs of rescue for Cloudpunk. At least, I think we do. Should I just take the people I like? I don't know, but you have to choose now. You should talk to the people you want to save, then get out of there quickly. All right, I'll tell them. I know who I'm going to choose. I think. Ну при таком раскладе получается профессор и два андроида. Почему андроида? А кто? Профессор зачем? Ну нам троих надо вывести. Он какой-то левенький тоже. Он по крайней мере сможет заплатить, а тех двоих процепов. Ага, он так это говорит, но ты же мне веришь, да? Ты же веришь? Еще кто-то есть, нет? Это последний? Доктор, а, ну, доктор, сержант доктор, и шо, андроид. Я про доктор шо забыла. Доктор, сержант и андроид. Самое оптимальное. Ну да, да, вас. я про доктор шо забыла. На мой взгляд. Я про нее забыла же, говорю. Да я ничего не говорю тебе просто. Я тебя перечисляю. Кричит на меня тут. Ну, у нас тогда денег не будет вообще. Да это... фиг с ними, у нас денег дофига. Это у тебя дофига, а тебе нужно перед э, диспетчером оправдываться как-то. Можно вывести одного богатого и двух небогатых. Кого? Не знаю. Тут все богатые какие-то подозрительные. Да, согласна. Они и не богатые, мне кажется. 
Dr. Ochoa, I actually have a vehicle. I can get past the security checkpoint. I can get you out of here. Really? But what about everyone else? I only have a few spaces. We need to go now. I'll gather my things. Meet me at the security checkpoint in two minutes. Сержанта будем вытаскивать? Ну, пожалуй, блин, сложно, конечно, молодого андроида или старого. Молодому. В смысле, обоих андроидов у нас а, остается. А, то есть ты вообще собрался никого у него возить с деньгами, да? Ну, да ну тут, вози кого хочешь. А тут есть кто с деньгами? Вот Я смотри, не знаю. Вот берем профессора. Я не знаю. Он явно какой-то хитрый сделанный. Говорит, с да у меня есть готовит. денег. Вот он прям кричит, у меня есть деньги. У меня все, все там заплатят, да, конечно. Но при этом так хитренько прихихикивает. Ну, прихихикивает я не заметила. Ну, короче, не кого знаю. вывозишь, того вывозишь. Этот э, управляющий, это точно какой-то левый. Вот управляющий согласна. Профессор, не знаю, но он такой странный. По поводу газа, скорее всего, у них из лаборатории этот Он газ. виноват, скорее всего, да. Это еще одна вот штука. Он, он такой... Да, что? Да нет, мы не виноваты. Сразу. Это точно все люди, которые здесь есть? Да. Я ну, со всеми поговорю. Ну все тогда ладно. Sergeant, I have a vehicle. I can get you back to your friends. Do you want to come with me? Sure, ma'am. Why not? The boys will be worried about me. Oh, they'll have cashed out all my poker chips because they think I'm dead already. Either way, we better hurry. I'll see you by the checkpoint in a minute. Чего, чего он там про фишки сказал? Я что-то да народ типа его заждался в баре. Mm. Ну так Табиус Батлер, да, у нее деньги, конечно, есть, но при этом вывозить ее мне не хочется. <laughs> Совершенно. Молодого андроида вывозить тоже странно достаточно. Ну да, он, ну, как бы, у него вообще еще пока никакой информации нет, у него мозг вообще у него на функции-то никаких нет. Есть на чистый мозг, да. Зачем, то есть, получается? Что, Октавиус тогда есть смысл забрать, что ли? Я не знаю, она такая мерзкая. Она мерзкая, но при деньгах. Зато она нам оплатит этих двоих. Ну, возможно. Доктора я бы, наверное, если выбирать между ними, оставила бы здесь, наверное, все-таки. Кого? Доктора оставила бы здесь, а ее бы забрала, если между ними выбирать. Доктора? Ой, ой доктора, господи, профессора. А -а -а. Профессора вот этого, который... Чего я их называю? Вот я, я не, и задумался, не, 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 думаю, не, 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 нифига себе, это жестоко. Это лаборатория, это лаборатория, господи. Ну что вы там запереживали так? Миссис Батлер, я могу вас вернуть к вашему мужу. У меня есть вехал, и я могу вас вернуть в карантин. Ну, это фабулярная новость. Tell me, is it possible you have a different vehicle? У нас новая машина. Perhaps something a bit newer. No, sorry. It's my old Hava, or you stay here. I'll pack my belongings and be with you momentarily. Немного удивлен, что нам прям дали возможности выбора всего этого дела. Так, довезите пассажиров. I can't thank you enough for taking me out of that horrid place, dear. I can't wait to get back and see Mr. Butler again. Oh, do you have any air freshener for the car? You know what? It's fine. Don't bother yourself. Не беси, а то я пожалею, что тебя взяли. Interesting bunch of refugees you picked up here, Rania. Thanks for including me. Ну смотри, пятьдесят баксов дал. Дал. More tense than the roach walls of 08. Thanks for springing me, Mom. I owe you. 75 дал. Робот бы нам, наверное, вообще ничего не заплатил. У него просто денег нет. Да, ну, конечно, у него нет. Он сразу сказал, что нифига у меня нет. Конечно, если чисто из-за денег смотреть, то было бы правильно это спасти. 
профессора Батлер и и управляющего, но управляющий, мне кажется, все-таки ничего бы не заплатил. С профессора, кстати, тоже под вопросом. Надо будет э, даже ради интереса потом погуглить. Mm -hmm. Да, в принципе, гарнитур. сейчас может чатик погуглить и сказать нам. Ладно. Так, с нам надо туда. О, я домой думал заехать. Ну ладно, поехали спасать. Подожди, а это кто? Почему я с ней поговорить могу? Надо, наверное, пос посмотреть, поговорить все-таки. Вдруг. Вообще странная игрушка такая в плане повествования сюжета и прочего она прям вот ветвится всякими какими-то как бы это различной деятельностью то людей там спасаем то коробки доставляем то какой-то вообще детектив идет очень разносторонняя игрушка угу. ну хальду мы с тобой болтали по моему мы должны были а. еду принести да а я что-то даже не припомню чтобы с разговором с ним как-то это отмечалось Забавно. У тебя, кстати, еще видеоигра есть. Да, не? А вот, кстати. Да, 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 я про это и говорю. Game, talk, board, so no magnets, right? How long? Seconds? For the cartridge here, yeah. For the tape, maybe five minutes. Minutes? People had longer attention spans back then. You would need a different computer to play this one? Yes, a game console and a rare one at that. C64. What was this game about? It was a side-scrolling platformer. Uh, what, what, what? You would move either left or right. Jumping your sprite up and down as you collected... stuff. The games were very abstract back then. You had to use your imagination a lot. What was the central metaphor of Fumbo's quest, then? You had to collect assembly-level instructions to program a computer, freeing a consciousness called Pili. By uploading a consciousness to a machine, you save the world. That's a bit far-fetched. You have to remember, these games were all symbolic. The hero's journey and all that. So, is this worth more than the game about punching? A little more, yeah. Good find. You want to play this one? I'm good. I'll just take the limbs for now. Mm -hmm. I have another one. This time, I'm sure it's a game. It's on magnetic tape again, but just one big flat disc. A floppy? Give it here. 
Oh yes, I know this one. Much quicker to load than the tapes. This is Darkmare. What's it about? It's a kind of RPG. Rocket propelled grenade? So it's a military game. No, no, it's a real playing game. You play it through the real life of a person. In this case though, it's the real life of a dungeon exploring adventurer with a sword and armor. I assume you mainly hit things with your sword? Yes and no. These games often had quite complex systems. Statistics for your strength and dexterity and so on, all measured with numbers. Why did people stop playing those sorts of games? Some people never did. I'm in some classic game clubs. Illicit meetups where we play board and card games and classics like this. Why are they illicit? Co-ops own the rights to these games, even the really old ones. In our club, we had to pool our finances for a year for a chess license. That's the only official one we could afford. That's why I had the games behind the counter. Is that why these old games hold such value then? Because they're illegal? That's not the only reason. These games define our past. They were our escapism and our sucker for a thousand years. A hundred thousand. We resolved conflict, explored ideas, went on adventures and created whole new worlds with these games. We can't let the medium slip away from the people who need it most. Pretty idealistic for a street peddler. I just really like games. They're important. All right, you convinced me. Maybe I will come and try Darkmare. I'll start loading it up. After I finish my shift. Ну, ё-моё. Может, у нас ещё что-то есть? Да нет, вроде не находили. А, всё, она даже не светится больше. То есть она у нас находится рядом с Нео. Старый город, руин Лондона. А, Лонда. Канализация. Ну, примерно можно попробовать запомнить. Waterworks. Подзаработали, да. С деньгами у нас все хорошо. Ну, пока что. Если придется покупать руку, правда, там 4,5 придется отдать. Апгрейды нам не давали новые, а мы мы нет, мы все мы все сделали. Нам ачивку даже за это дали, да? Ну да. Где он там? Смотри-ка, я правда нашел. We had to get going. The girl was in danger. We all were. I gave the dame a nav point for a hideout we could use. It might even be safe. А, то есть сразу поехали. I just want to help. Huxley is a friend. You can trust him. I know that. I trust him. He saved me. 
Fair enough. We'll get you out of here, then leave you too. Huxley, what exactly is the plan? Do we take her back to... Not back? I don't want to go back to him. Pashta, do you know why this happened to you? Because of the chip? In your head? The neural memory implant? Yeah. They gave me the implant so I can do better at school. Dad said he wanted me to be a data analyst one day because data analysts sometimes become CEOs. Is that what you wanted? I wanted to be in CorpSec like him, but he said it was a bad job. So your dad wanted the memory chip removed? He wanted it erased, but I said I didn't want it. It would make me forget a lot more than just the meeting. The meeting? Dad met with people he shouldn't. I heard everything they said. Dad said it was evidence. He said we can never leave behind any evidence. So your dad erased your memory implant? He took me to a man to do it. It hurt. I don't think Dad paid the man. That's why they were mad at him. That's why they sent me away. And you don't want to go back to your father now? I won't go back to him. It made me forget too much. I can't even remember Mom anymore. I just remember how much I hate him. How did you find her, Huxley? Busting the kid out hadn't been easy. I'm pretty sure I upset the wrong people, but everyone in Nivalis was the wrong people these days. I'd followed the leads I got from the two-bit mobster who pretended to be her father, Peter. In the grand scheme of things, he was the least terrible of the bunch. I can't believe you found her, Huxley. Oh no, it is happening again. Someone else is on the comm. You were warned, Cloudpunk driver. Surrender now and hand over the android Huxley. There was one more hand I could play. It was a desperate plan, but I was done for anyway. There was a number on my head now, and it was a big one. I should turn myself in and push the big red button. At least the girl might make it. What big red button? My frame was an old espionage bot. Ancient, a bucket of bolts. But it did have one feature I was pretty sure would still work. Self-destruct. All I had to say was a specific combination of words. It would prime my fuse, introduce a little spark into my house of dynamite. I could get rid of Rio for good. Oh no. Do you have to do that? That would be bad. Is it really a button? I'd asked the dame and her dog for a lot of help. The least I could do for them was clear the way. I explained that it wasn't really a big red button. Rather, it was a phrase that if I said or heard, would trigger the detonation sequence. The words were simple enough. I just had to say... No. Pasta, it might work. We could escape. Huxley saved me. And I hate Rio, but he is still my dad. I didn't know this. Did everyone else know this? No, but it adds up, I guess. Let me talk to him. I'm not sure. Trust me. Please. I can do this. Okay, the comma's open. Go ahead. Dad, it's me. Pasta? Pasta, honey. These aren't good people. Listen to me, Dad. Just listen. Remember when Mom got sick? Do you remember what present I brought to the hospital for Mom? Pasta, I... You don't remember. It was a little bird. I made it from folded paper. She said it would stay by her side forever. Oh, I remember, honey. Listen to me. I need you to... No, you listen. I didn't remember the bird because you stole my memories from me. But I wrote it down. Even my scribbles are better at remembering Mom than you are. I wrote down a lot. I wrote down everything you said at that meeting, too. The one that made you do this to me? Pasta, all I care about is your safety. I had to erase the memory so that they wouldn't come for you. No, Dad. You only cared about not being caught. If you cared about me, you would have turned yourself in instead of stealing my memories. Now you listen here. If you have told anyone else... I haven't. 
but I will if you don't let me go. I wrote down all the words that you said at that meeting. And if you don't leave us alone right now and stay away forever, I will send them in a message to Corpsec. I can't just let you go. No, Dad. You actually can. You can let me go and your secrets are safe. Or you can tell me that you don't care about how much trouble you'll get in and turn yourself in. And I'll wait for you to get out of jail or whatever happens. I'll stay by your side forever if you give up. Damn it, just give yourself up, Rio. He... he's left the calm. Oh no. What a kicker. Her pops had abandoned her. He was letting her go, poor kid. Pashta, I'm sorry. I... It's fine. I knew he would go and leave me behind. It's what he does. Let's keep going. I won't leave your side, kid. Yes, you will. Everyone does. Куда нибудь пока. Ломо? Ам, я. Remember what I told you. The city moves real fast, and you got to move with it. I'm trying my best. What do you want, Lomo? You made some tough choices, Rania. People got hurt. I don't blame you. I think you did the right thing. But some other folk, their choices weren't so good. What do you mean? I'm going to ask you for something that I know you won't give me. Still, I have to ask, and you have to answer. Our choices have narrowed to a point, Rania. We've just got to play our parts from here. What are you talking about? I did what you asked. This isn't about you or even me. This is about what you have. You have to bring that girl back to me. She's the dead. What girl? Let's not do this. I'm asking, but I know your answer. Bring her to me. Last chance. No. All right then. No hard feelings, Rania. To be honest, I would have thought less of you if you said yes. But debt is like a weight, and if you want someone to carry it, you've got to graft that weight to their bones. You understand? No. You will. Your hollow heart will crack like ice. Five minutes to self-destruct. Oh no. What the hell? How could the scumbag know? I don't keep the best hacker in the city around for his singing voice. Super. Your number's up, Huxley. You're deader than the dance hall. It was true. I was a goner. Four minutes, fifty seconds to self-destruct. You're going to kill us all. You said you wouldn't... You're free to drop him off. In fact, I highly recommend you do. Stop this. I'll find a way to... As your robot friend might say, you were never going to come out of this shit smelling like roses. Goodbye, Rania. He has disconnected. It isn't fair. We have to help him. There was a way to get out of this, but it was a long shot. A damn long shot. What long shot? The vents. If we could get there in time, maybe I could find an old hackbot and disarm the self-destruct sequence. Why aren't you driving faster? We have to save him. Shit. Okay, let's go. Oh, time is ticking. Yeah, time is ticking. Полз такой. Ой, какой злой чатик. Они даже в такой ситуации считают тебе всякие столкновения. Мы тут жизнь спасаем, а они там, блин, злорадствуют. Негодяи. Да. Совесть его нет и моральных принципов. Да вообще нисколько. Вообще, если не успею, то мы все рванем. Да.
Там было? Там было, да. Направо сейчас вот. Да, но здесь я скорость меньше у меня будет. Where do we find this hackbot? You said you had five minutes about... How could I tell her that it wasn't as easy as interfacing with an old machine? So, tell me what you need. I needed the dame to look after Pashta. No, no. More, no less. Blin. What do you mean? Why are you just standing there? Truth was, there was no hackbot. I was done. Only the girl mattered now. I needed the dame to take her in. I can't do that. I can't just take on a child, Huxley. The dame protested, but I knew in the end she would do the right thing. She had to get moving. Damn it, Huxley. It shouldn't be like this. It's not fair. Fair is what we make it. Ugh, you deserve better than this. I told her to get back into her car and her safety. I was able to insert lines of code into my core loop to delay the big moment, but I wasn't able to prevent it. Goodbye, Rania. Mm, Why didn't you save him? We couldn't save him. You knew that. We all knew it. Oh, <sighs> I knew he would leave. Don't you dare say anything bad about Huxley. Never again. He gave everything for you. For us. Where are you taking me? Back to my apartment. Really? Shush. Let's just drive in quiet for a little while. <laughs> 